name is Mahalia, and I'm a recruit from Teach English in China. Today, I'm going to help you retrieve your Chinese Z visa. What this will do is help you prepare for all the documents you need to have in order before you go to your Chinese consulate. You need four items. One, TEFL certificate. Teach English as a foreign language certificate. This can be found on Groupon, and it is a 120-hour course that you are required to take in order to achieve your Z visa. Second is your medical clearance. Your recruiter in China will help you get your medical clearance form to you in time in order for you to go to either a hospital or an urgent care or your primary care doctor to have them fill it out and have it returned to you. Third, criminal background check. Your criminal background check is always required for jobs most days in America. So this won't be hard for you to do. Go to the provided link below where you can see how to submit your identity history summary check. For your criminal background check, make sure you get the federal one. By going to that website is how you will be able to submit a federal background check. Please do not get state only. It will not work. And then lastly, you will need your bachelor's degree. And obviously, you will need your passport. Now that you have your TEFL certificate, your criminal history background check, and your bachelor's degree, you're ready to start your visa process. Your medical clearance will not be used for the first part of the visa process, which is called authentication. But it will be needed for the last part, where you actually go get your visa processed. After your medical clearance has been completed, please scan this to your recruiter in China. They will need that for your work permit. Moving on, two steps are a part of this visa process. First step, authentication. You will need colored certified copies of your TEFL certificate, your bachelor's degree, and your criminal history background check. Take those colored copies and take it to a notary. Notaries are found at banks, courthouses, lawyer's office, real estate offices, etc., etc. Have those three documents notarized. After those three documents are notarized, then you take it to your state secretary. Go online, Google who your state secretary is. If you live nearby, you can just go to your state capital, have your state secretary authenticate your documents and go back home. If you live far from your state capital, then you will need to mail in your documents along with the correct amount of what it costs for your three documents to be authenticated. Make sure your, your money order is included with your documents when you send it. After you get those three documents back from your state secretary, then you're allowed to go to your Chinese consulate. To find out which Chinese consulate your state belongs to, go to the provided link below. After you find out which consulate your state belongs to, take your three authenticated documents from your state secretary and go to that consulate. You cannot mail in your documents for authentication. I'm sorry. You will need to go to this consulate. Bring to that consulate the three documents and also your passport and a colored copy of your passport. You will drop those items off at your consulate. You will have to wait two to three processing days and go back for your documents. After you leave the consulate, you will then need to notify your recruiter in China that your documents have been authenticated by your Chinese consulate. You will scan those documents to your recruiter in China. So make sure you have a scanner and a fax machine nearby. After your recruiter in China receives your authenticated documents, they will work on their end to have their department take care of your invitation papers and your work permit. In a couple of weeks, you will receive from your recruiter in China your work permit and your invitation letter. You are to print those out. After having those forms, you will then need to go and download the visa application. After you download the visa application, you will need to type in all the information. Your recruiter in China should tell you what's the name of your school and the address that they have and also a contact number. 
because that will be needed for your visa application. After you have typed in all the necessary parts of the form, you will print the form, take your invitation letter and your work permit, your passport, and a copy of your passport back to that consulate. But this time, when you go to get your actual Z visa, you won't need to go. You can have a travel agent appear for you, fill in the paperwork, and then can get it back to you. If it is easier for you to do it, then do it that way. But you can use other visa process services, such as Visa HQ, Travel Visa Pro, Passport Visa Express, and Tra Visa to help you have your Z visa process in a correct and timely manner. It should take about six to 10 days for you to receive your visa in the mail. Once you have done that, then you contact Teach English in China and also contact your recruiter in China to let them know you have received your Z visa. If you have any more questions about the Z visa process, please go to teachenglishinchina.co.uk. There you will see a phone number and email for any questions you may have. Thank you and have fun teaching English in China.